So I just want to start off by saying, great chapter. Great chapter this week of One Piece. This shit was just the progression, the backstory, everything about it. Just great chapter. First of all, what Don Chin Zhao said about Blackbeard, I want to talk about that for a second. He said that out of all the new pirates, all the newcomers and everything, the one that he's most familiar with and the only one that he's really familiar with is Blackbeard Teach. And it really makes you question, okay, did he have an encounter with him? Did he talk to him? Does he know about him? Is he an advocate of the way Blackbeard does things? Did he just know of him through the media? Makes you really question exactly why did he bring up Blackbeard in particular and why is he so familiar with him out of all the other ones? Well, he's not so familiar, but you know, that he's only familiar with particularly Blackbeard. Does he know about Burgess being in this tournament since Burgess is connected to Blackbeard? And it makes me want to know even more about Don Chin Chao even after getting his backstory in this chapter. I want to know what type of pirate was he and what type of pirate would he become if he decided to become a pirate again in this new age. He fucked up the moment he decided to start bad-mouthing Rayleigh and then the shit that he said about Ace's bloodline, you know, pretty much that the government, they were brilliant for wiping out that cursed bloodline two years ago. The moment he said that, he fucked up. I knew, okay, th this is it. Luffy's not going to have it. Don't change out. You fucked up, dog. And even though we didn't get it in this chapter, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that he had some run-ins at the very least with Roger and his crew. And the stuff that he was taunting Luffy with, it really makes me wonder as well what the world was like back in the old Pirate Age and Roger's era. Because he's like, oh, you telling me that you can take out the Marines, the four Yonko, you telling me you can do all of this? And it's like, I wonder who Roger had a fight back in his Pirate Age. Who were the four Yonko back then? Did we have four Yonko? And that just really got me curious as well. It's just like he started giving a little bit and it just felt like, oh my god, I want to know so much more. We need more Don Ching Zhao. I really hope he's not finished after this tournament because he knows a lot and I would love to learn a lot. Now, his flashback takes place 30 years ago, more or less. So this had to have been before Roger was executed, before Roger even became Pirate King. Because if I'm correct, Roger died roughly 21, 22 years ago around there because Ace died at 20 years old. Roger died just before Ace was born. So it's like he was like probably this was six. Six years before Roger, six or seven years more or less, before Roger became Pirate King and became, you know, notorious. So this was quite a bit before that. Roger was probably still on the come up, still making a big name for himself back then. And that clash between Garp and him, the headbutt, learning about the treasure being inside there, and that's what he wanted. I can't lie, though. His original character design, he looked like Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants, and it was just, like, a little awkward to see. And come on, like, th no, dog, yeah, your head might be strong, but this is Garp. The fist. Did you really think that Garp's fist was going to be softer than your head, dog? He laid this dude out. He even said he was practicing. He was shattering mountains and preparing for this battle. So it's like, again, that adds to the fact that Don Chin Zhao was already notorious at this point. If Garp was training for this battle. A little bit disappointed that my theory didn't come to fruition because I was really hoping that it was something really big and to do with One Piece and stuff like that. But nonetheless, it was still a pretty freaking interesting backstory. Now that Luffy pretty much put his head back to normal, I'm betting that maybe he'll still have some sort of a grudge with Garp because, you know, Garp made him waste all of his life and give up being a pirate. But he might not have a problem with Luffy anymore since Luffy is giving him back his head so now he can go back and crack the continent and get his family's treasure and everything like that so it's like he might like Luffy after this one don't change out he might tell Luffy a little bit more and possibly even help him out because the way everything's setting up I'm betting anything that this tournament is not going to finish I'm betting pretty soon the government is going to swipe in there and it's going to be an all-out brawl you're going to have Bartholomew all these people are going to have to team up with Luffy because right now Oda's setting up like everybody wants Luffy everybody wants to go after him you know especially with the end of the chapter Burgess and everything but I'm betting anything that they're going to have to work together because an admiral is going to be coming in Fujitora. All the marines are going to come in and it's like they're going to need everybody to work together. And another random prediction. I could possibly see Burgess having to kind of work together with Luffy because, you know, the marines are just outrageously going to be strong if they got Fujitora there and possibly having a problem with Blackbeard afterward. Because, I mean, would Blackbeard really tolerate somebody working together with Luffy, Straw Hat? I know he doesn't have a big hatred with him, but nonetheless... Blackbeard is a cruel man, so I don't know. It, it could just get ugly. And overall, this chapter, we got so many interesting things. We got a big progression. C-Block is finally done. We got that epic battle with Garp and Don Chin Zhao. We got the epic battle of Luffy and Don Chin Zhao. Luffy flattening Don Chin Zhao, putting his head back, and then the ending with Birds just figuring it out. I mean, yeah, Birds just may be a muscle head, but come on, if people are calling him Straw Hat, he kind of looks familiar to him. He's acting like him, doing moves like him. I think even the biggest airhead can figure it out. Or Pinhead. Don Chin Zhao. And it was 
very appropriate for the states to get cracked in the end, getting cracked in half by Thornton Giles' head. I mean, dude cracked the continent with that freaking head. So when it gets back to normal, it's going to easily outdo the stage, especially with the impact of Luffy's move. Luffy been busting out some B shit lately. And overall, just a great chapter. I'm giving this one 9.5 out of 10. It wasn't a masterpiece, but it was nonetheless great and beyond. It was just so much good stuff. Progression development, you know, secrets, learning Don Chin Zhao's past, setting things up, and I'm really hoping for an all-out battle with the Marines very soon. But let me know what you think, first of all, Don Chin Zhao, exactly what was his relation to Roger? How did he know Roger? Did he have, like, some encounters with Roger back when Roger was coming up? Because he obviously knows Rayleigh, and he talks about Rayleigh like, you know, he knows him quite well. So what was his relation to the pirates, you know, the Goldie Roger pirates? And also, why does Don Chin Zhao know Blackbeard, more or less? You think he had an encounter with him, or he just knows of him from the news? or is he an advocate of the way Blackbeard does things? And do you see a potential team up with everybody in the Coliseum right now when the Marines probably start crashing in soon? But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for Garp the Fist flattening Don Chin Zhao's head and Luffy doing the same except doing it in reverse. And you know, Luffy is just... Right now, he's unstoppable. I don't know what, where's the power scale with this guy, but he took out legendary Don Chin Zhao even though... It's a technicality because he didn't actually 100% defeated him. Don Chin Zhao did lose to pretty much being a ring out since the ring cracked and he fell through. But nonetheless, greatness. I'm Fanet World and as always, people, have an awesome day.